Okay, we're going to attempt to make a set of stairs. Now, stairs are a bit of a minefield area because there's so many different variants in uh, stairs, depending on what space you've got, actually what height your ceilings are and your next lift. There's so many different variants. Now, I went to a good friend of mine. He's got a two up, two down. I took all the measurements from his stairs and it actually works. Standard set of stairs actually works in this. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make. Standard set of stairs, which you can adapt virtually to any sort of scenario you want. So that's what we're going to do here. I already made a set of stairs to actually go in here, uh, just to make sure my calculations are right and everything works. So I'll put you on pause. I'll get the materials that we need to make these stairs and we'll run through and make them. Okay, to make your stairs, we need two supports for either side of the stairs. Now, I'm going to be using uh, a piece of balsa wood. Now, all this, all this wood is uh, 1.7 thick, just different widths. So, for the side, this is 8.9 uh, wide, and that is for the sides of your uh, stairs. For the treads and risers I'll be using just one piece of uh, this is uh, 6.7 uh, wide by 1.7 thick and that will do your treads and your risers and also a piece of 1.7 this is 80 mil thick and this is just to make a backing for your stairs for, for your stairs to actually sit on that's mainly it just to hold everything together so you can build it right we've got through the materials uh, if we, I'm gonna have to move the camera I'll put you on pause I'll move the camera and we'll have a little look of where we where we're gonna start okay right stairs come up landing and then a step into the bedroom the reason they do this is once i find it is the landing has to be the size of a door frame now as you can see i've put a mark there and to actually get to this height you would need 12 steps 12 steps would take you past that area and I've even actually seen places with a very small landing like this but what they do to get over this is to make the landing here and they set it down the height of one of the steps so that is your point there so you've got this is number 12 step and you step down onto number 11 and then there will be 10 steps down to the ground floor. So the first thing I need to do is, as you can see, I've marked just down by two courses. That is roughly the, uh, the height of a, a riser. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clamp this piece wood in this is the uh, I'm looking for a peg I'm trying to do half a dozen things here at once uh, this is the 8.9 to make the sides because we need to cut two angles we need one at the top to rest against the landing and also we need one at the bottom so it doesn't stick out past the doorway now if you take 
if you lay that against there, you've got your mark there. So you've got, uh, if I do a mark there and a mark at the top, that's going to give me my angle. So I'll cut that angle and the same angle at the base. And that's then one side to the stairs. So I'm going to cut two of them and uh, I shall review that back in a second. Right, I've cut my two pieces. I've cut the two angles. Now, that first angle sits there and sits down to the bottom. We'll put a clamp on that, like right, so. And get that right. And then the second piece will sit on the other side. And now we're going to put the treads and risers. But the first thing we have to do is create a landing space now i'm not going to go too mad on the landing space but i've already cut a bit of bolt of wood that will just fit in there now i'm not going to glue that in at the moment for the simple reason is when we build the stairs i want the stairs to come into that point but also come level with that top riser so we can actually put the floorboards on to finish it with a step there also will be another step here and another one this side as well so but you can basically see just by that uh, quick one i made up earlier that the way it was sit it was sitting like that so first things first we'll get on and we'll assemble the stairs Okay, we're down on the lower table. Now, we've got our two sides cut, which are these two here. Now, you need, there's, there's the stairs. We need some sort of back to support everything so we can build them outside of the actual, well, actually, we do do quite a bit of building within it. So, so all I've got here is a piece of, uh, 1.7 this is 80 mil uh, wide and all we need to do then is to actually measure the width of the staircase where it's going to go now that is 35 millimeters so very simply we cut a piece at 35 millimeters that pencil will sharpen I'm going to bore the arse off you. So, 35 millimeters. Nothing too technical there. Now, when I actually cut this, I'll actually cut it, instead of cutting it to the line, I'll just cut it just slightly below it. It's best to have it a little tiny bit smaller. Well, mind you, if you do it bigger, you can always uh, sand it down, but I don't think you get a nice enough finish. Right. So that's my piece. Just check that goes in there, which it does. Now, you can use super glue on bolts of wood, but believe me, it sticks there's, 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 you don't have no time at all uh, to actually adjust. Once you put super glue on it, you touch the two pieces of wood together and they stick. There is no, no time for any adjustment at all. So I do use PVA. All I'm going to do now is square one end off just to make sure it's uh, nice and square. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue these two pieces on top of this piece. 
but I'm going to leave when I glue this on I'm going to leave this end see that leave this end up by about what five mil so the actual end of it sticks over by five mil the simple reason is this because that is going onto the floor and that will then give you clearance and it will save you having all the hassle of, of uh, cleaning it back so what I'm going to do now I'm going to just mark that up there because that's where I want it cutting off so what I'm going to do now I'm going to glue these two pieces down I'm going to use ordinary PVA glue because it just gives me a bit of chance but you can use super glue super glue it, it's just very very quick and but you you haven't got no time for adjustment so I'm going to stick them bits together and I should be back in it back with you in a second okay after gluing them two pieces together you should have a piece like this now this piece will sit in there like this to create your stairs up like so now to make the treads we'll move on to that bit so I'll just drop you back down again and we'll make the treads okay making treads now what you need to do is measure the distance from that side to that side and you need to cut a load of the uh, 6.7 which as you can see I've already cut them all I did was I made myself a little jig just put it in and cut them all to the same length which is 30 millimeters in this case now I will try and show you when uh, there's 10 steps all together so you're gonna, you're gonna need at least 20 uh, 21 pieces now I will attempt to show you how quick super glue is on these now, you don't need much but believe me it's not forgiving That's it. <laughs> it's very quick. I use the super glue to actually assemble the, the steps with. So that's the way you need to assemble them. The longer piece being the tread. And when you glue that piece to the back there, it makes it shorter for the rise for the for the riser. So that's just using just one piece the simple reason I use that because when I did all the measurements uh, from the uh, stairs it worked out at 240 millimeters uh, for the tread and the actual riser was 160 now this work when you work that back I did do a few calculations there that works back to into 135th scale is uh, 6.86 and if I get my little uh, which this particular stuff is as close as I get which works out to uh, 6 6.71 so it's milli thous there it's milli thous and the actual riser worked out now at 5.24 which uh, it should have been 4 4.57 so I'll tell I to set that down let's get a correct measurement there we go it's 4.8 hey we're in a few few microns there I ain't gonna complain so once you've assembled all them up you've got all your risers and your your treads and your risers the, you need to make one with an extra riser on the bottom so I'm just going to glue that one on there like so put that around the right way like 
one just a little bit this yeah so you need to make one up like that with an extra riser on this is the bottom step so what I should do now I shall move you up and I shall show you how to assemble them okay this is going to be difficult to show you because I need me hands all over the place but the first one that you made with the extra step if you place in here at the bottom believe me I'm doing this with tweezers and I normally, I normally do it with my fingers so place that in the bottom get it all nice and level like so and I don't think I'm going to be able to do this but the way I assembled it was a little bit of super glue I'm making the right hash of this piece of super glue either side I think you understand that I can't get in there to do it properly so a little bit of super glue either side just straighten that up and then you move on to your next one which you place on top like so and you do exactly the same again you super glue that one on and then you move on to your next one and you just keep going up the stairs uh, all you need to do is keep your eye on it to make sure they're going up level and straight and that's it you just keep gluing one on top of the each other if you find one's a bit crooked you can sand it just a little tiny bit to correct it so what I'm going to do because it's very difficult for me to actually get in here with the camera uh, I'm going to start gluing them up uh, right up to the top and then we'll move on to the next bit right as you can see I've reached the top uh, and they don't look too bad they don't look too bad I'll just try and lift you up a little bit so now we've got to the top and the last riser comes level with my landing so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this landing in to the same level as that riser and then we're going to put uh, floorboards on here to make up the difference so I'm going to put you on pause I'm going to get this bit glued in and uh, then I shall come back and we'll have another little look okay we're all glued in everything's stuck in there now now I've cut one piece just to go on the top there like so and it goes in I've got it upside down Hang on. another piece in just like that to finish the top step off and I've also cut some uh, floorboard in which will run all the way across there what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue these in because uh, that's the actual finish of it so I'll get these glued in I shall get the two steps put on and I shall give it a, a, a quick coat of burned umber and uh, I'll come back to you and we can have a look at it complete okay apologies different camera uh, we'll kick off with I'll give it a coat of uh, brown all the way up and down uh, left a little gap in the middle as that's the way they seem to have painted them back in them days because the stair carpet just used to go up the middle all in all I don't think it looks too bad I'll move you around as gently as I can as long as the camera will play I've uh, put the two steps in at the top I've just glued them to the wall and left them loose uh, that will come apparent a bit later on when we start the next lift why I've done that but I won't go into it now uh, I've put the floorboards on the top just to finish that off and the top step all in all I'm quite happy uh, yeah that's about all I can say about it really I'm happy they they look good and by the time we get some stair carpet on them and we also uh, get a whole load of hardcore and masonry 
on the stairs as well because these will probably end up being smashed anyway so somewhere along the line so all in all a good result I feel um, I hope it's not been a bit too boring I hope it's not been too long for you and I hope that you sort of like got the basic how to do a, a, a quick set of stairs to go in your diorama so I'd just like to say thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.